that Supra. Well guys, we are down the seas. We're picking up the S2000 and K24 that's gonna be going into it. Bring it back home. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes. Jeez. I would have got it on camera. <laughs> well, while uh, I'm leaving it up to the children to get that taken care of, I'm got the uh, new K24 and the transmission. I would just leave the transmission down here, but they had that sitting outside, so I'm not going to just leave it out. So we're just going to bring that back home with us. Get this strapped down. The car loaded up. Go get something to eat, maybe some Texas Roadhouse. And then four hours back to Bemidji. Oh, I can't wait till that is in there and it gets back on the road. Even with it missing half of the body panels, it still looks so good. Back home. Uh, we're being lazy, so we just back the trailer into the shop. I'll unload it tomorrow. So now, pretty quick here, we'll be taking the K-Series, putting it on the new engine stand, getting it tore down, and actually get the S2000 just a little bit closer to being back on the road and back on track again. Well, it's the next day now, and too many projects. The S2K back home, the new motor, GR is all tore apart. All we're still waiting on is just the fenders and then we can get this back together. Race season starts soon, so. That color though. The goal right now, get the S2000 in the shop, get the motor unloaded, and then go get some bolts so I can actually attach it to the engine stand. Nowadays the pain follow me, deal with trauma privately. I don't wanna be a burden, I handle things defiantly. Spent a decade searching for a higher power behind me. Figured out that faith is not up there, that it's inside of me. Act with execution, what's the plan with zero action? Faced with bad habits, knowing it's a magnet to my imbalance. I'm somewhere between confidence and arrogance. The middle ground is treacherous. Don't judge me for what I'm about to do. Every time the sun shine, back to being unsigned. I only got my bloodline with me going forward, smoking cookie till we dumb high. I heard you taking shots, we pulled up on them, they was gun shy. 2 p.m. in Rome, we at the chapel eating sun dried tomatoes and a plum wine. Life been like a movie, y'all know how long the run time. Hope it's an extended cut. So these are the kind of things that you do when you are by yourself and you need to lift a motor onto an engine stand and you will need it to be at least that long. These ones, the threads go to about there. Now the best thing to do is to just get the stock bolt that came out of the car, bring that with you so you can match up the threads. Now we're gonna continue the sketchiness and I'm going to cut the straps on the engine. It should stay upright because the bottom of the oil pan is flat. It's fairly balanced, so it shouldn't tip over. So a little background on this engine. This is a K24 from Japan, and it came out of an Acura TSX. This is the equivalent to the K24A2 USDM out of the TSX. And I bought it from H Motors Online. Now, if you go through them, you are gonna pay a little bit more than if you went through somebody else uh, there are some other reputable companies and there are a ton of options and companies that you can choose to go through. It was worth the peace of mind paying a couple hundred extra dollars to get a clean engine from a reputable source. But this is how it shows up. Obviously when you get it, it's gonna be saran wrapped like crazy, strapped, everything. And then you had the cardboard and foam on top of it with the straps going around securing it to the crate. Now, some of the stuff, because of it being strapped down, gets a little bent and smashed and stuff like that. But if you are putting this into a different vehicle, 
pretty much all of this, so everything attached to the engine is going to be changed out. So basically all I need is the long block. I don't need the intake manifold, the alternator, belt tensioner, water pump, the water pump housing, crank pulley, exhaust manifold, any of the wiring, the sensors obviously, which they clip all of the wiring for the sensors versus unplugging them, which is kind of nice. That way, in case you're putting this into a vehicle that this engine did not come out of and your engine harness doesn't match, you have all of the pigtails that you need to convert your harness if you decide to go that route. As long as there are no leaks, everything seals, then you're good to go. Just on to a thumb drive, yeah. and I'm loaded to the masses when I'm past. All my sets is holographic, life's as real as you imagine. Okay. My Jewish girl was tight, cause I ain't link on the Sabbath. But it's Friday, and I got a few robins I need a bask in. Basket. Playing traffic, if you wanna play the faction. We don't act, we getting active, stacking cash and dodging taxes. Stack. My father was a Catholic, never taught me how to practice. But with music, I'm a Baptist. I'm a Baptist. Chris and all these fucking tracks, I bless these raps with. Standing in the middle of the Go. so much simpler with everything off of the engine and now it looks so tiny the only thing that i was worried about taking all this stuff off was the water pump a lot of people have issues with the bolts breaking on this and this one actually came off super easy just like everything else did so i kind of started loosening everything up taking everything off and then a good rule of thumb is all the bolts that hold things on if you're able to put it back in do that that way one you don't misplace them and two you know exactly where everything goes the other alternative is get a bunch of ziploc bags or sandwich bags put them in there label them take a picture of it have that with all the bolts that way you know exactly where everything goes that's about it for this one guys until more parts come in and i can make some progress on this, getting it closer and closer to going into the S2000. If you have any questions, leave them down below. This is my first time doing a K-Swap, so this is just gonna be all fresh to me. And come along for the ride and learn right along with me.